Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Top 5. Best Soundbars Under $300. Namibur 5. Vizio M Series M51AH6. The best soundbar under $300 we've tested is the Vizio M Series M51AH6. It's a 5.1 bar with versatile performance, and it's one of the few bars in this price range that comes with Dolby Atmos support. As a result, you can enjoy more immersive object-based formats like Dolby Atmos and DTSX, in addition to 5.1 surround sound formats like Dolby Digital, which are all commonly found on streaming platforms. With the included rear speakers, you get a pretty immersive sound, so it seems like sound effects are happening in the space around your living room. Dialogue is clear in the mix, and the sub brings plenty of rumble in the bass. It is a solid pick for movie lovers, and is versatile enough for listening to music and TV shows. Namibur 4. Vizio V Series V51H6. Dolby Atmos is an immersive audio format that's found on a lot of streaming platforms. However, if you aren't much of a movie fan, you can find a more affordable alternative to the Vizio M Series M51AH6 in the Vizio V Series V51H6. It doesn't support Atmos content, but it still offers good performance with other types of audio content. It still comes with two rear speakers, so 5.1 surround sound is clear and detailed in the space around you, as if your sofa was dropped right in the middle of the action on screen. There's also a dedicated sub, and you can feel your seat rumble during action-packed scenes. You'll find that the bar does a really good job with music and more dialogue-focused content like sitcoms and documentaries too. Its balanced sound ensures you don't have any trouble hearing voices and lead instruments in the mix, and bass-heavy genres come to life thanks to the extended low bass. Namibur 3. Samsung HWB650. Depending on the setup of your living space, you may not have room for a soundbar with dedicated rear speakers. Fortunately, there are plenty of options on hand that offer a good sound without rears, and the Samsung HWB650 is the best of the bunch. It's a 3.1 soundbar that has a balanced sound out of the box, so voices and lead instruments in your favorite music are clear in the mix. You won't have any trouble following the action on screen in your favorite TV shows, as its discrete center channel enhances the quality of dialogue. It stands out from other bars in the price range thanks to its wide selection of sound enhancement features, which includes the standard bass and treble adjustments in addition to a full 7-band graphic ec that lets you customize its performance across the range. Without rear speakers, there's a less immersive feeling with 5.1 surround sound formats. If you watch Dolby Digital or DTS content, the bar has to down mix it into stereo, which doesn't seem as clear or real. Namibur 2. Samsung 5.0 CHS61A Amazon. If you have a small living area, you might even prefer a standalone bar, which comes without a subwoofer. The best that we've tested under $300 is the Samsung HWS60A. It's a 5.0 bar that offers a neutral sound right out of the box, so voices and lead instruments in your content are clear and easy to follow. Like other Samsung models, there are many customization tools on hand, including a graphic ec that gives you the ability to control the bar's sound across the range. Since it lacks a subwoofer, you don't feel the same amount of rumble in the bass range as you do with other models. It's especially noticeable with bass-heavy music and intense movie scenes, and you can't customize it enough to replicate a similar sound to models like the Samsung HWB650. Namibur 1. Bose TV Speaker, Soundbar. There are even smaller standalone soundbars on the market, which are ideal for smaller-sized TVs and computer screens. The Bose TV speaker is the best of the bunch, 
and at less than 24 inches in width, it can easily fit under your TV stand without blocking the screen. It may be small, but this premium setup can still get loud enough to fill the average living room. It's ideal for listening to vocal-centric TV shows and music, with balanced mids that ensure voices and lead instruments are clear and detailed in the mix.of course. Without a sub, you notice a lack of bass in the mix, and the 2.0 setup doesn't provide a very immersive sound with surround sound formats. While there's a bass adjustment feature on hand, this bar doesn't offer as many sound enhancement features as the similarly performing Sonos Ray, which is another solid small pick. The Sonos Room Correction feature automatically optimizes audio reproduction based on your room's unique acoustics, which is a premium feature for its price. It doesn't reproduce as much bass as the Bose. But if you want more check up the video link description please. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and hit the like button.